Hey barbecue family! Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode on our channel. I'm Maddie and this is Kiki and we are Canada's favorite female grill masters. And each week we teach you how to build a barbecue from easy to find materials, things you can find around your house or at your local hardware store. This week we are making a filing cabinet smoker. I don't know if I've been as excited as I am this week. You say that every week. But guys, wait till you see the levels. Like this thing is so cool. It's gonna be like a meat machine. But back when we were working at our day jobs and we used to be stock standing at the filing cabinet, working nine to five, I would have never guessed in a million years that we would be outside with an old filing cabinet smoking up some delicious meat. I know, and you know what? This is also cool because it's around tax time. The weather's warming up in Canada here. Time to file your taxes, everyone. Okay. How are you making that sensual? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into this cook. Yeah. While this might sound like it's gonna be very complicated, turning this old filing cabinet into a smoker, it's actually very, very simple. You can see it has four levels here. So basically what we're gonna do here is put the charcoal in the bottom level and all we need to do is make sure that there's enough holes in here for the smoke to travel all the way up. And all that we need to do is just drill holes into this thing wherever we see fit. Oh yeah. Honey, I think this is probably gonna be our most inexpensive grill yet because this whole thing only costs $20 and we're not really doing anything else to it except drilling holes. Buddy, we just did a $2 grill. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so you can't beat 20 bucks, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna be at this for a while because this is gonna need a lot of holes to make sure that we can get that smoke all the way to the top. So come along, guys. Oh, we've got an old receipt in here. Okay, we're at Vintage Walmart. What's the, what's the date on this thing? Oh, two. Here's what we got on this, guys. A weird combination of items. Men's small briefs, that's not very flattering. Oh, oh, <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> A large sweater and a WY sweater. I think this is pretty cool. This is gonna go in our vintage collection of items, honey. I like it. Now that we've drilled tons of holes into this unit, we're gonna get the charcoal lit into the bottom. We're using an old pot that we've taken the plastic handles off of, and this is gonna be used to contain the charcoal. So this is, fits perfectly in the bottom here. We're gonna add in quite a bit of hickory chunks. We're gonna add in some unlit coals to the top of the wood, followed by the lit coals, shut the bottom. And we're gonna do a really good burn off to make sure any chemicals or yucky stuff isn't gonna be in our food when we actually put the food into the levels here. While our filing cabinet smoker heats up, we're gonna start to prep and season the meats. So our filing cabinet has four different levels, but one level is taken up by the charcoal. So that leaves us with three levels that we can shove lots of delicious meats in. So our friends at Hollandus Meats have provided us these delicious ribs, a chuck roast, and some of their legendary sausages to smoke up in our smoker. So there are a lot of questions about when you're smoking ribs. Do you take the membrane off? Do you leave it on? We like to say it's up to you, but we'll let you guys in on a little secret. If you take the membrane off while the ribs are raw, you gotta pull and tug and it's slipping and sliding. It can, it can be a mess. So we like to leave the membrane on, let it cook, and then when it comes out of the smoker, it actually peels back nice and easily. That's our tip. Tell them you heard it from Maddie and Kiki first. Now let's get some mustard onto our ribs. using mustard as a way to bind our seasoning to these ribs. So today we're going to be using one of our friend Jabin at Postal Barbecue, one of his rubs, the original rub. All right, it doesn't stop there. We're coming down to our chuck roast now. We're gonna use the same binder of this mustard. And for our chuck roast here, we thought we'd go with our friend Uncle Steve's shake. And today we're using smoke bomb. We're gonna be putting our chuck roast into the drawer that's the closest to the heat because this thing is gonna take much longer to cook than our sausages and our ribs. Next go the ribs. These sausages take the least amount of time so that's why they're going into the top. We want these to get nice and smoky and we're after that pink beautiful smoke ring that we all know and love. smoker without one of these, a thermometer. So we're gonna put ours right here in the back. All right, I 
Alright, our meat's been on for about an hour. Now let's check on these drawers. Oh, yes. Wow, this is Ooh. working so great. Oh, look at that bark already. Okay, let's check on the ribs. Oh, yeah. Nice smooth Oh, my flavor. goodness. They're looking good, too, already. We got our sausages. Oh, yes. Okay, those need some more color, but they're coming along. All right, so since our roast was on the bottom level, it's cooked the quickest. We brought it off, let it rest, and we are now ready to slice into this bad boy. We've lowered down the ribs and the sausage to continue cooking. And you guys will also notice we've had a little visitor in the meantime while our meat's been cooking. Hydro came by and started working on taking this tree down that's caught up in the wires. So just disregard the mess back here. It's providing a little bit of a cool backdrop. <laughs> Check out our ribs and sausages. Oh yeah. Oh, good color. <laughs> those are looking good. About those ribs. Ooh, so mm. smoky smelling. Look <laughs> at that, everybody. Oh my goodness. Can you guys believe that this thing made that? I really can't. And if I could just capture the smell around here right now. These smells are just incredible. Beef and pork together. Oh my goodness, honey. As usual, I feel so bad because you can't try this. That's okay. I feel like I get to live vicariously through all of you and you, honey. I'm going to do my best and report to you guys what this tastes like. So which would you like to try first? I honey? was going to say, could I please pick what I want first? She wants to choose. Can you guess what I want? The sausage. Oh, Am I right? Yes! I swear, I swear that was I know right. my baby loves a good I smoked love a sausage. sausage. I love a sausage. Okay, so, but before we get into the taste test, let's talk about how this thing stacked up. Okay. Okay, so first and foremost, I was impressed that it was able to handle this volume of meat to cook it all at relatively the same time. Obviously, the beef came off first. But everything was in there doing its thing, mixing and mingling all at once, which I really enjoyed. I enjoyed that too, but the only thing I didn't like about the smoker is that we had to shuffle everything around. And maybe next time we'll use a smaller filing cabinet, but with all that being said, I'm pretty impressed. All right, now let's get into this taste test because the smells I can't hold back any longer. All right, I'm coming at you with the sausage first. Okay, okay hook me up, hook okay. me up. Oh, oh, that stand. It's coming, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that night, I'm hearing the snap on the outside, guys. That classic sausage mm. snap you get from smoked sausage. It's mapley. Oh. There's that tasty flavor that only comes from hickory wood. Yep. And you're right, that snap, oh my goodness, it's all about that snap of that skin. I am so impressed at how perfectly those are cooked. Like, I just can't, I just came in. How did those here. come out of a filing cabinet? All right. Beautiful color on this beef. Back to back, the sausage has more flavor for sure, but the beef is just, even though we put a lot of rub on it, the beef flavor really comes through. So it's just pure delicious beefiness. That All right, and last but not least, I gotta hit you with one of these ribs, honey. You got a great smoke ring along the outside. Beauty I can't believe- smoke ring. I can't believe that we achieved a smoke ring in a filing cabinet. Wow. It was a meaty bite. Ooh. That could win a rib competition, man. Yeah, that, that looks, that literally, I'm astounded at how well this thing worked, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, honey. And on that note. I know what's coming. Tastes so good. You smell like pork. <laughs> and beef. Makes me feel like dancing. 